Welcome to Season 2 of Gaming with Scott Presents Marvel Super Heroes, a Southgate Media Podcast. Join us each week as our intrepid heroes follow a path of adventure and attempt to save the world and each other from the dangers of the universe. Starring Martin Davis, Josh Elliott, Dan Gentry, Josh Jackson, and Rico Suarez, with me, Scott Troiano, running the table as the judge. Galactic adventure and titanic struggles await you just beyond this music. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Gaming with Scott. I'm here with Joshua. Oh, I'm ready to go. And Joshua, I'm sorry, Josh. High on life. <laughs> yes, we are. Dan. Hey, y'all. And Rico. Yo. So we're all, where were we when we last left, Rico? Because I know you've got all of these in your head. Uh, one, time out, one second. Uh-oh, what? I, I'd just like to say to our listeners, having heard myself on the podcast now, I realize I'm not nearly as good at my uh, accent as I thought I was, and I apologize, but I'm not going to stop. So deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> so we understand for our listeners at home that this might, but I'm not, you're not. I suck. Sorry, not sorry. Yep. <laughs> okay, now, where were we? No. Now, well, and before we get to where we were, we are recording live from the lobby and the main space of Wyndham Hotel. Con, the Wyndham Hotel in Indianapolis. And resorts. Uh, in Indianapolis. And, resorts. and Indianapolis. Uh, we will be putting the bumper of the uh, chair of the con right <clears throat> here. My name is Jill Harris. I am the Hoosier Con 2016 Con Director. We game to please, and you are gaming with Scott. There, now that you've heard the endorsement that we have from the chair of the con, um, we're going to turn it over and say, all right, Rico, where were we? Wow, it seems like every time we start a game, it's always Rico that's doing the recap. Well, well that's okay. Because Rico uh, has all of the recap. You've got yeah. cosmic awareness. To you be know, honest with you, on. I forgot. You're a oh, good wow. narrator. Roll okay. with it. Okay, well, um, everybody had got back together. Um, we had all decided as a team that we were going to go to the Nimbus Crater that was oh, orbital, yeah. orbital striked because um, when Uber's Reich Wells was in New York, we figured out that the portal was activated, so we had to go investigate the Nimbus building. They were using magic to sustain the conduit. There was some talking gorillas... There was a bunch of Ubersreich. There was an Ubersreich guardian angel. And we found Wells' wife and daughter. The real ones. I think they were the real wife and daughter. Your real wife and daughter that, were, that, were, so, that was there at the bottom of Nimbus? Question. If you, have, yes. if you have a wife and daughter from an alternate universe show up in your main universe with your main wife and daughter, does that make you a polygamist? I don't think so. Okay. Just, just I don't think so but, I, but I am looking at the man who has the situation at his feet. According to what I have read in the Book of Mormon. <laughs> oh. oh, sister wives. I love it. <laughs> Nephi would beg to differ. The answer is no. Okay. Just curious. Wow. And so we shut down the portal. We dispatched the alternate guardian angels. And uh, as far as we know, we have the Ubers right completely handled. Well, now... As Actually, I dismantled to, all the barriers, physical and magical. We did, As I seem yes. to recall, there was something important that happened at the end, or at the, where basically I broadcast another message from the United Nations or something like that, because I thought I was dead, but I'm still saying things. No, no. No, no. That was the news flash from the... They were repeating the news of the original broadcast. Oh, never mind then. Never mind then. Yeah. Yes. Uh, where's my family now? Does anyone remember? Uh, we... Tracked them to the Nimbus building. I believe that was the real wife and daughter that were being held hostage. They're in a cryo container yeah. several levels up. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. And we were going to start going through uh, computer files and stuff like that, and then we, we broke for the night. That's before, right. bef- After the combat, before the investigation. Well, no, I already had. I had already secured the network, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Right. So we should write things down. Yeah. Oh, and it was... No, why? that's why we have Rico. That's why, that's why Do I'm you want here. me to give a breakdown of my part? No, not yet. Didn't think so. No, because, okay, so here's what happens. So you've secured the network. You turn around to avail the rest of the team of the network, and you all sort of out of the corner of your eye, because you're still down in the main portal room. 
Mm-hmm. And you, you turn to be like, okay, now let's go secure. The, I've got the network. I've got security online. Let's go check the rest of the building. I, you've identified where the, the cryopods are with your daughter. And, thing. and there's a gleam in the corner. Like, not, a, not a, like a glint. Like something was shining there for just a second. You look over. It was about person-sized, if you, if you really wanted to, to put it that way. It just flash, like somebody had taken a picture with an old-school Polaroid. You look over in the corner, there's nothing there. What? Am I hallucinating Wait, again? so you're telling me I saw, like, a camera flash? It's something like that? Okay. You look at it, and Fenris here is walking back towards the group with his hand outstretched. Penetration vision. Okay. Looking at the source of the flash. Uh, the corner? Yeah. Okay. You see I, a corner. Congratulations. I, I would like yeah. to inter, interpose myself between Fenris and wherever he's going and try to get him to stick his fingers in my mouth. Okay. Where, um, on accident. He was what? reaching out. <laughs> he was reaching out to Tomahawk, who isn't where he was a moment ago. Oh, okay. Never mind. <gasps> I'm not going to do that then. I misunderstood. Hmm. Did Blink take him? So what do I? So what do I see Uh-oh. of what I know of what I, you reach out Tom to out. touch him? He's no longer there. He's that not there anymore. I look at them. Are they? Are they moving? Yeah. I go. I'm, I go over to Wells and I like push on him. Does he react? Or is he still? Is he still? Yeah, no, he reacts. You like you've lost your mind. Maybe. Did Did you look lick tomahawk? <laughs> I thought we learned not to do that. Uh, the answer is yes, but not this time. No. Uh, yeah, some trippy happened. Uh, you guys were all frozen, and I went through a portal. What? Yeah. Um, everything was frozen here, and we did something to cause a, a rip or what, or a rift. We? Uh, me and Tomahawk, and he just disappeared. I don't know where the hell he is. No idea, actually. But um, Why did you do that? I mean, we didn't, <laughs> we didn't choose to do it. A portal opened. A rift opened. We went. I stepped towards it. Tom Hawk was with me, and we were transported to uh, Asgard. Wait, is that portal still there? So, Scott, I look back to see if the portal's still there. No, no, yeah. oh. no. He looks back at the same corner you did, and, and you're looking at him like, uh, really? Yeah, I, I turn around. It's like it's right there, right over there. All right, the I, three of you, give me uh, intuition rolls. 62. Which is a? He's got to get his gator sheet. I got a yellow. Nice. 15. Looking for a red. Oh, no. 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 I got a white. I'd like to not spin karma. Okay, good. <laughs> right on, Dan. <laughs> Boom. 62 is not going to be a red. Oh, but it might be after you get the shifts. Yeah, the shifts, it might happen. Yellow. Okay. The three of you look at him, look at the corner, and look back to him. There's nothing in the corner. He's crazy. I mean, he might not be crazy, but there's nothing in the corner. You're like, I'm no, pretty, there's pretty, there. pretty. There. No, 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 there, no, 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 no. It was there. Tomahawk was with right, me. Right, and you were made of candy. I. No, I, no, no. I he believe, might. And yeah. I believe you, you saw Somewhat. something that you think was there. Tomahawk, I think, is actually still back there. We have to go get him. But there's no portal there, right? How do you propose we do that? <sighs> okay, so I you... have an idea of how we might go well, do that. you need the whole story first. Oh. Story time! Sorry. Can we tell the story while we go look for his wife and daughter? Yeah, it's on the walk. Let's do yeah. that. Right. Okay, so... We'll start moving that direction. Yeah, so essentially, after touching the portal, transported to Asgard, and with that... Uh, Met several Asgardians that were on a quest. And with that, many of them were, were killed on said quest. And I was transported years further into the timeline. With that... Which timeline? The Asgardian timeline. Oh, the As- Oh, okay. Yes. Um, made a friend. And I... Fr- time out. Whose name was Bellomir. Bello what? Bellomir. He was a dwarf. He was on a quest... To go to Jotunheim, where they... Did the I- you have to throw a ring into a volcano? You know what? Even as an Amish motherfucker... Oh, sorry. Even as a mo- <laughs> Amish guy, I found some, f- some fun in all that story. But no, it wasn't that. Um, he was on a quest to Jotunheim to find a 
legendary weapon. Oh, yeah. That Probably was, an axe to slay all the ice giants. Yeah, that, is, that they are going to use, essentially, to battle Asgard. Oh, wow, I totally called that. Are yeah. you... Are, are, Cosmic are, awareness. Are we... I know everything all the time. Yeah, so... Wells can vouch for me. Yeah, so with that said... Truth. They have this weapon. They may use it against Asgard, and I have some connection to Asgard. And you were there? And you were there? And you were there? I think I know how we can get there. No, I, I know how we can get there as well. That's the end of the story. Do we have to follow a yellow brick road? <laughs> Maybe ride a tornado? No. It we it have easier. to go to Oklahoma. Yes, we do. Yes, oh, we do. Oklahoma. Hey, story not done. Story not done. Story not done. Did you go to meet a wizard? <laughs> I don't see how you people can be that excited to go to Oklahoma. No, 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 because that's the way to get back to Asgard. Yeah, that storm that's just been sitting there forever. Couple that ex- hasn't moved. Couple extra points. Things we got to know though is uh, so I encountered. He flew off in a balloon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jimmy, God. Damn it. Anyway, um, I met a, some snake creature that was really powerful, and I thought it was. I thought it was. Did, lo- it, did it try to talk you into eating an apple? <laughs> no, but I thought it was Loki again. It was not. But no, I remember I killed Loki. Well, no, you supernova to God. I, I heard that. Oh. I actually got the memo on that and saw it. And probably recorded it on some sort oh, of social mad? media. Is he mad about that? I think that he had singed his pride to Skosh. Oh, that's money. Boom. I can't wait to do it again. Right to the face. Nice. But anyway, there's a powerful creature that kept trying to negate me from getting to Jotunheim. Got around him. Got to the gates where... What was his name? Oh, I met Heimdall. Heimdall, the, the gatekeeper to the Bifoss Bridge. How the hell do you... Well, you know what? God... Damn it, Guardian Bro, it's Angel. North, Norse mythology, okay. man. Well, are you serious, Guardian Angel? Are you, are you serious? Cosmic right awareness. That doesn't mean it didn't go wrong. You need to say this, spoiler alert. Man, I didn't know this stuff. How do you know this crap? It's Norse, it's Norse mythology. Yeah. You read about it in college. Yeah, it's storybooks. Anyway, in Asgard. It's crazy that it's real, though. Yeah, real? Yeah, I don't oh, think yeah. so. Oh, yeah. Yo, uh, we met Loki. This is the yeah. son of... One of Loki's creations. So he's the son of a Actually, guy named Loki. Loki created the eight-legged horse and created the wolf. And I'm sorry, we've just been into space and you're telling me that now there's gods. I would be more inclined to believe that there was a space dude what? who took Wilson the... Wilson, I know two gods. Hey, this is all... Y'all I... roll in some really weird circles. Time out, time out. So, I wouldn't... I don't know that they're gods. No, they're gods. No, he's talking about yin and yang. Oh, so I don't. I don't we know didn't anything about. Hijack your conversation. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know. Go story time. But, um, but I'm going I'm to peek in one of the rooms. Is this where the crowd chamber is? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, cool story, bro. I found. I found his wife and daughter. Again. <laughs> okay. This is twice I've got them back for you. Story's not over, but I this don't think is important. You can take credit for this time. Yeah, you just sort of said, "Hey, look, there it is." But uh, yeah, story will continue. Let's. This is important. No, it's okay. Keep telling the story. We've just. I. I don't know how to work a cryo chamber. He'll. He'll figure it out. I ran into the demon. Uh, uh, Scott, uh, I'm going to start running through the crowd. Chamber wait, what demon? To- the demon that Caesar made a pact with? Yes. Oh. And unfortunately, he got out. Oh, of course he did, because Caesar's a crazy man. Yeah. Robot. Time traveler. He's crazy. Yeah. So. I can't even right now. I think for for some reason or whatever that, that Loki let him out. And with everything said and done, he is now here. So that is a problem. Wait, here on Earth? Yes. He who? The, the demon. The demon. You would not know. Okay, the demon. Jimmy, right. Jimmy you You're using not, pronouns. That's way too many pronouns. I apologize. Okay, yeah, just take it slow take and use small slow. words. Last, last part of the story. Got a portal to Jotunheim. It is supernaturally cold. I almost didn't make it. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> You'll you feel see. Temperature. Before we you go, before we go back, we need to go see see somebody to com- to combat that. And then that is when I was able to come back here with Tomahawk. I thought. I think he still might be. So there. we need to go talk to the Sorcerer Supreme. I think that that is a you definite. You always want to go talk to that guy. Well, we got to have some. We got to give. We got to. Okay, that never goes well. For we got to give him some. We got to give him. Whoa. We got to give him something to barter. Whoa. Are you talking about David Whoa. Copperfield? You don't hey. want to make deals no. with this guy. He's, hey, okay. This guy likes me. He's I don't know about you. How many people do you guys know? 
Oh man, I know a lot. We're not like listening to the I ain't never heard of room. nobody like hey, these. Fantastic. Single malt scotch, he loves it. We're good. We're I, lo- good. I know local authority. I know cosmic idea. authority. Um, I know at least two different races of aliens. Three. Well, Sorry. I kind of do now too, but yeah. Beforehand, I mean, I know, I know a lot of people. I'm kind of a big deal. Hey, do any of you have any other knowledge about Jotunheim and what would it take to survive there? Yeah. Just asking, because if not, that's the only dude See, to me, I know. That sounds like a medical condition. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, Understood, Jimmy, and I know why you'd say that, and that's why I will not hold that against you. What about you two? You have anybody else? Because that's the only guy I got. I'm trying to science over here, bro. Thanks. Okay, cool. Yeah, I may know somebody. Who? Um, I can get in touch with Archangel of the X-Men, who can get us in touch with Professor X, who can get us in touch with the Justice League, who can get us in touch with Thor. Wait, wait, is Kevin Bacon in that stream? No. Okay, I, you lost me. But, hey, sounds cool. I mean, that's like one of the contacts I haven't even tapped yet. That's pretty cool. So you, are, What are we tapping? Archangel, to that, get to oh. Professor X. Okay. To I thought get it might have been a wiretap. I could do that. You really rather the be, Avengers, rather? You'd, you'd rather go through all those people instead of just go to the Sorcerer Supreme? He likes me. I don't. I can't speak for your for y'all. All but. right. Well, you give some. You give him something that he feels is equivalent trade. I like a magic show. I'll go with you. Hey, with, with everything said and done, this is my shtick, and I'm gonna. I should have to pay for it, not you guys. Hey, how's it going? And when he says I should have to pay for it, not you guys, a bolt of lightning strikes the middle of the room. God, what the? And and the equipment <laughs> dims for an instant. You're like, wait, and you turn your attention back to the console. You could care less what's happening in the middle of the room. You're like, uh, because everything dips into the red and then comes back, and you're like, (laughs) there is a face floating in the middle of the room. It is etherically projected. The wizard. You you can see it. You can seek it, and you recognize it immediately. I I try to touch it. Okay, you're like, you would, and you just your hand goes right. So then I start walking. I stand in the middle of it. Okay, that's fine. The face of Doctor Strange, it's the Sorcerer Supreme. Supreme. Oh, of course, oh, it is. asking is, you shall is, receive. Is in the middle of the room, hovering, and it, and it looks what, directly what, at you. Fenris, with, with the Jimmy standing inside of it. <laughs> yes, sir. You must go now, right now, to the bridge. Well, not immediately. Take the things that you need. You must go to the bridge and cross to the interior. In Asgard, we are holding things here. <laughs> And it fades out. Hey, that's a cool hologram. Yeah, that's the wizard. Of Oz? I, yeah, I was waiting for it. Ah, uh, Because, 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 because of the wonderful holograms he does. Where's the curtain? Hey. Wh- what? Wells. He's busy. What? Click, 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 click. What do you, let's help, we want to help you. What else you need? You aren't smart enough to help me. That might be true in some aspects. <laughs> So what do we owe the privilege? I've rolled Dr. Three Strange. single digits. No, it, He's, he said it just poof. Dr. Strange. Yeah. So what do we owe the privilege? I'm asking. I'm asking the doctor, to what do we owe oh, the privilege? Okay. Uh, he looked at Fenris and he said, you need to cross the bridge to the interior. You need to go now. He said, right now? He said, no, gather your strength and then go. <laughs> Faded out. Oh, and he was gone. Yeah. And, and I, Jimmy tried to... Was, Waving his arms around in the inside of it, trying to figure out. Trying to feel around. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, then, since he's not going to help you, why don't I get a hold of um, Archangel to get a hold of Professor X to get a hold of the Avengers to get a hold of Thor? Agreed. He said, Greg, gather your strength. Let's do it. Oh, bro. Uh, that's a good idea. I did take a lot of damage from other me. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Fair enough. It was pretty painful. I have no doubt. So Any progress, Doctor Wells? Would a twenty-seven green on an Intuit do anything to help him? Yes. Okay. You know not to push that big red flashy button that says kill. So, you want to give me give kill me a switch button? for the electronics? Jimmy, Jimmy rolls over. The just outside of Lubbock, Texas, Texas Ranger. Mar- you has Mars one. Just to be clear, oh, hey. I'm not going to push anything. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I just want he, to help. <laughs> Thank okay. Jesus. He, he walks up, takes a look at what's going on, and you can see him. Do not touch anything. 
So what do I what do I intuit? Um, there are everything seems to be stable. Things dipped a little bit, mm-hmm. which um, shut down the cooling for just a moment. Mm-hmm. Um, it would probably take better than not to leave it for like a day to stabilize out instead of having a blip in the middle of the re, re, the reconstitution mm-hmm. process. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah. Um, hey, I don't want to tell you your business, but you might want to hold off on waking them up. The 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 blip here is going to probably harm them if you try to revive them oh, right this minute. My God! And you and you look and you and you look at it and you're like, yeah, I'm working on a thing. And you go, hmm. And you jump six squares ahead, and you know how you could have compensated. But what he's saying is true. That you're like, and you look at it, and you look, and you're like, hey, you know, he knew more about it a than he should have, and b. Any more than these two, except for Cogn- Cosmic Awareness Boy. Yeah. And you're, you think to yourself, well, that wasn't, okay, you got that. It's surprising that he did, but he did. Yes, but I'm well, so let's oh, go I, back. I get that. Here. I get that. <laughs> oh, Wells. my God. Thank you for that stunning observation. I am already taking care of it. Good. Glad. Just trying to help out. Now, you could speed the process up and have him out in an hour. But because of that blip, the risk has gone up some. You're at about 10% that things that they won't rethaw properly. Can I secure power redundancies? Yes. That's what I'm working on. If you gave it a 24-hour or a 48-hour, depending, it doesn't matter which one. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. Um, the, the You can drop that down to less than five. Okay. So it's up to you. It's whether you want them right now or not. Their safety is the primary concern, so not. Okay. All right. What I need to know is the best way to secure this room. That, gentlemen, you can help me with. Lock the door. Well, if we're going to go to (laughs) Oklahoma, I don't exactly want to just leave them in here behind a lock. I got a 68 yellow on figuring, trying to intuit how to best lock the room. Uh, locking door. You can barricade the door. All kinds of things you can do. Could magnetic ma- manipulation on the door? Oh yeah, you could do that to harden it or whatever. I yeah, don't know. yeah, we'll do that. They've got five or six different suggestions. They are. They're all like, oh yeah, we got the locks. We can do a thing. He's got a magnetic thing. He's. Shiv under the door. Yeah, yeah we'll I, can, sure. I can. I can. seal the the cracks with dark force energy to keep it airtight. I think we're good. All right, good. good. What else? We got you, bro. And I'm going to make sure that the the security camera in this area that's still functional that I have a connection to it, so I can get a live feed at any time. Absolutely. Hey, can you recreate nanobots? Like, can your nanobots re- like create more nanobots? Can they modify? Yeah, nanobots, and that's we sort of should thing. think about fixing this place up. Well, yeah, that's like, that was my intent. We sh- yeah, we should totally make this our base of Making operations. Making it a base. The only problem is, is that Luther Core and other supervillains know where it is. Yeah, right. But like I said, like we should work on fixing this up. We can. Your nanobots can can do that. I I can help do that. Ultimately, yes. If I get some time, yes. We could can. have like a tower of justice. I was just going to say, Stark Tower in New York yeah, is Avengers, kind of a just saying. thumb. It's right there. Out. People know where it is. Yeah. 50 stories up. Just saying. Ta-da. Yeah, and you saw what happened to Stark Tower. <sighs> Twice. Amateurs. Yeah. All so, of them. Hey. Well, Damn. yours is in the basement. Duh. Seriously. It's way better. Bomb. Underground base. Bomb shelter. <gasps> we could get, like, oh, when Tomahawk gets his ship made <laughs> or regrown, we could have, like, an underground. You mean, like, like a... Door that opens that we fly out of like from a, underground? Like a, like a bat cave? I don't know who no, that is. More no, like, like a cave with bats in it. No, no, no. Go live in. Like an oh, under, underground yeah, geranium. Yes, the bats are weird. <laughs> and they poop a lot, but, you know, yeah. whatever. I mean, we could kill all the bats and then whatever. So you should, you should have some of your nanobarts start solidifying the structure and rebuilding holes and fixing wires and stuff. That's not how that works quite yet. Oh. <clears throat> okay. But noted for the future. What do you have on securing the room? You hear a voice from behind you say, I could start fixing things. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> Morat! You're here? Yes, where did Tomahawk go? Uh, 
Uh, Fenris yeah, licked him and then he disappeared. Now he might he might still be on the other side of that portal. He Jotunheim. Might... No, he came back with you. <coughs> no, he did. He's not yes, here. Yes, he did. Where? Where is he? There was a a blink, purple thing. A purple. The, the, yeah. The... Remember vampire blink? Remember her? Which one? The the <laughs> alpha. The alpha. No, uh, no. There's like twenty of them. Yeah, now. I know. Yeah, I remember. But um, they, Blink wouldn't send a copy of herself to get Tomahawk. Time out. She would. She would. Time she in. would. She would come herself. Understood. Yeah. So, Mora, that would be awesome. Yes. Uh, w- would you like me to perhaps um, adjust a few of your nano bots? Yeah, you should do that. No. I don't think Can I have one to look at? No. Just no. one? Just deal with the devil. No. Don't do it. Morat is a technological genius. <laughs> yes. I, 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 yes. So That's is Lex exactly. Luthor. He fixed Tomahawk. <gasps> Remember, dude had no face. <laughs> yes, I fixed his face. I put it in him a face. Scott. This is a Faustian I legend. Microsoft Vision to look at his skin to try and spot. Uh, Which his? Oh, uh, his. Josh's, uh, okay. Dr. Wells' skin. All right. I got a green, a 46 green. Okay. He has no nanobots on the outside of his skin. Oh, you're okay. like, wow, like like none. Okay. It was weird. I see where you're going. Yeah. And it was like, you're like, dude. You notice he's staring at your arms. Like, intently going. Welcome to the gun Penetration show. Vision. Are you looking at him naked? I'm looking at him to see if he, he is now. Enhancements. Well rolled. I mean, well yeah. rolled. Give him a roll. AT3. I believe that's a yellow. What's yeah. your power rank? He's like, I don't know. I just roll. <gasps> 50. What? My power rank is 50. Okay, so an 83 on a 50 is a? Probably a yellow still. I believe so. Yeah. 80, 83 on a 50. Yeah, it's solid in the it's yellow. a solid yellow. Okay. You look through his clothing. You look through the first layer of epidermis. You look through the... Muscular tissue? No. You look through the whites of his eyes and the corneas, back to the retina, and you it, it looks almost... His retinas look almost illuminated from the inside. Very odd. Um, it's almost like when you open a geode, shine a light in there, it's like um, of different colors. You can't look through his skin. First couple of layers are fine. Everything after that, nothing. Like head, hair looks good, into the follicles, sure, nothing beyond that. Skin, first couple of layers, yeah, eyes, that's weird. Um, clothing and everything is fine. But you get past the first five, six layers of skin, mostly dead skin, the first couple of live layers, and it's like you x-rayed a brick. You can't see through it at all. Ladies and gents, Jimmy's a Cylon. I'm a what now? What? What the is hell is like a Cylon? Over in Europe? You mean for, like, Battlestar Galactica? There are many copies, and they have a plan. Speak American. I, what did I, you just I, say? I really don't have a plan. I think that should be obvious by now. <laughs> Morat, could you try to use Dark Force Energy as a power source for this base? I believe so. If I could get just one nanobot as a sample, I would be able to do many wondrous things. Don't do it. Wells. 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 Give him a nanobot. You Just know, one. He, he's killed billions. You know that, right? So what? So has Wells and issue. so has Jimmy. I thought you were a hero. I have not. <laughs> We've been over this. I thought you were a hero. What the hell? The civilian knows nothing. <laughs> we're screwed. Yes, let us take the, the advice of a woman whose job is to walk with ice. <laughs> anyway, point being. We're screwed. It's a security issue. I like you. I don't trust you. I understand that completely. Uh, find me a vacuum tube. Somewhere. And Morat just holds it. Here you go. Whoop. Oh, okay. And he's just, like, got one in his pocket. Uh, dark force energy control. I'm going to put some dark force energy in that vacuum tube. Okay. There you go. And he's like, ooh. 
And he just takes it and he's like, ooh, a piece of candy. Now you can end the world. <laughs> right? And he's like, ooh. And he just kind of, like, he forgets you all are there. See if that can be used as a power source. That was in the Safely. Stage. Why? <sighs> what? Huh? Yeah. We'll be fine. Uh, I trust him. We're screwed. A little bit. Anyway. (laughs) The whole table was like, we're boned. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Look, I make bad decisions. Somebody should stop me. (laughs) What? (laughs) What the hell? Wonder Twin Powers Unite, bro. Oh, that'll send you. (laughs) What the F just... I'm not, I'm not in control it's like, of my own actions. It's like, what's wrong with you? You left me unsupervised. That's Oops. on you. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So then... That is on you, people. We got to get to Oklahoma? Yes. But let's... He said gather your strength first. Oh, let's yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. I, I know what Archangel. you guys are going to say. Oh. I just want to say, uh, as that. a side note for the record, I want in 15 that. minutes, there's a burlesque show in the Brickyard. <laughs> Neat. Like the Brickyard at uh, 56th Street? Brickyard? No, brickyard here. It's a room. It's Oh. Hmm. All righty, then. And that'll so, do us tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> so uh, ga- gather your strength up, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing that? Well, I thought Guardian Angel had a good idea. We, <laughs> Dr. Strange just said, all right, you're out. Go do it. Mm-hmm. So uh, if he's got contacts, let's use them. We need, um, a, we need a lift to... The Xavier School of Gifted Whatevers. Like Call get the jackass from S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> Agent Nicholson? Oh, yeah, that guy. Still don't trust that son of a... Yeah, yeah him? Yeah, don't Aww. trust him. So you call Agent Nicholson? I do not call Agent Nicholson. One of you oh, guys okay. calls Agent Nicholson. I'm Amish. I don't have a cell phone. Nice. Are you on like some sort of extended rumspringer? <laughs> I wish. That'd be cool. Winning. <laughs> okay. Good evening, Agent Nicholson. Hey, Agent. How you doing? And Jimmy is literally holding his hand up to his face like this. Hey, Agent Nicholson, you, uh, you, uh, what? hey, uh, we need a lift. Where do you need a lift to? Uh, the, where are we going? Uh, the Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. The Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. You guys didn't burn that place down, did you? Nope. The Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters? Yes, it burned down like a day ago. How it burned down a day ago. Did we do that? Not to my knowledge. We did not do that. How was he talking into his hand? That's what I want to know. Jimmy, how are you talking into your hand? I'm talking into my phone. That's not a phone. Cylons have built-in cell phones. <laughs> what so, is a Cylon? I don't think you. they, they want visitors right now. They pro- he says they don't want visitors right now. Oh. Do we need a lift anywhere else? Mm. Let me get back to you on that. Uh, Fenris had said he was wanting to go to Oklahoma. Yeah, we need to gather our strength because he went to the land of Oz, and we need to go back to... uh, It's called Asgard, Jimmy. Are you guys going to make that storm stop? Yes. I don't know. It's not on speaker. (laughs) <laughs> get, hey, can we can we hear the agent on the other line or no? No, he's, here. We, he's just talking into his hand. Like, yeah, you're yeah, a, literally, Jimmy. You're a nut job. What the hell are you doing? I'm talking to Agent Nicholson on the phone. You're talking yes. into your goddamn hand. I'm you talking are talking on the to phone. Agent. Yeah, you're talking to me on the phone. And they don't think I'm talking to you on the phone. I don't know why. Can no. I? If okay. you're if you're talking to Agent Nicholson, can, can I talk to him on your hand? Sure. You know, my, I, yeah, I just want to. I just want to hear it. You can talk to him on my phone. Okay, may I see it? Just want to. Yeah. yeah, sure. Here's my okay, phone. Okay, so I take his hand and I talk into it, and so I see if anybody's there. Act like I'm handing you something. Yeah, and then put my hand back down. What? <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense if you're a Cylon. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to make my hand into the shape of a phone and try to talk into it. Do I hear why, anything? Why are you talking into your hand like that? Now you just look weird. Why don't you use the phone I handed you? You're a douche. What the hell? (laughs) Look at me. Can I have it back? Funny, Jimmy. If you're not going to use it, can I have it back? Funny, Jimmy. And I... (laughs) I don't have anything. Walk over. I'm sorry he threw you on the ground. Um, Hey, uh, it broke up there for a minute. What happened? I... Fenris wanted to talk to you, but then he wanted to talk into his hand. I don't understand what Jimmy, he's doing. Jimmy, hang up the phone. I think I have another option. Um, we'll have anyway, a chopper I'll call there. You, I'll you. call you back when we have, like, 
seven percent of a plan instead of no plan. Hey, how I, am I, how right, am I the weird one? How am I the freaking weird one? I am calling the interim CEO of my new newly acquired corporation. Ooh, Margolis Corporation. How may I help you? This is Wells Actual. I need to talk with the CEO immediately. I um, one moment, please. <laughs> You got put on hold. I like that Wells actual. That's that's they, fun. They they haven't. You haven't. D- this is the first time you've done that. You haven't done this a lot. Yeah. And they're they're like, I, what do we do? Yeah. Thomas Margolis. Whom am I speaking with? This is Simon Wells. The Simon Wells. Are are there other Simon Wells who have your direct line? Fair point. What can I do for you, Mister Wells? I need immediate air transport, and I don't know what our assets are. From where to where? From Indianapolis to New York. Uh, the big storm in Oklahoma. No, I thought we were. No, uh, we're not. Well, the, the school burned down. We don't need to go there now. Apologies. I mean, no wait help. one. All right. So we have no strength. That's even better. <laughs> where is the big storm? Going? There needs to be a town nearby or something. I don't know. It's a big motionless storm. Around it's Oklahoma. It's all over the news. Uh, Oklahoma City. Oklahoma access- City. Accessing the internet to find the current location of the storm. Blakesville, Oklahoma. Blakesville, Oklahoma. Uh, we have two helicopters and that can be there in moments. Do you Copy need that. two or do you need one? Take two. Just the one should be sufficient. <laughs> Certainly. Jesus, son. I forgot. Dispatch. I forgot that I could fly. I don't. I don't really need to no. ride in the helicopter. Uh, please dispatch to these coordinates as soon as possible. Certainly. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And I literally, before he hangs up, I go, damn right. Click. Yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to add one thing. Wow. Hey, does anybody know how to protect against supernatural cold? Uh, North Face Parka? Maybe. I'm just saying, it slowed me down, let alone anybody else who's not as hardy. I mean, I'm from Texas. The, like, half a centimeter. I'm sorry, I'm an American. Half a... <laughs> Quarter of an inch. <laughs> it was really just too much snow for me. You're fun. No, but I, that's a legit question to you all if you know how to counteract supernatural cold because it is a thing. And I know well, that. Okay, what if we set you on fire? I don't think that that would be very advantageous. Maybe. But you'd be warm. But if you had marshmallows, we could have a weenie roast. Yeah, we could, especially if you're on fire. I hate you. No, you couldn't. If you had marshmallows, you could not have a weenie roast. So wait, wait. You could have so toasted marshmallows, but not a weenie roast. So, Jimmy, what's your deal? What do you mean, what's my deal? Yeah. Well. You were talking into your freaking hand. I was talking into my phone. That? You have an invisible phone? No. You are not entirely organic. What? I'm what? You are not entirely well, organic. Well, damn right I'm not vegan. <laughs> he pops his neck. Can you explain what a Cylon is? Because you've said it three times. Okay, for those of us who watch television, it's oh. a cyborg. <laughs> oh, it's a what? He's a, ro- doll? he's a robot. It's a very advanced cyborg that looks entirely human, and unless under sophisticated testing, you can't actually tell the difference between the two. Oh, that's cool. Huh. You're a robot? No. I yes. mean, that's a cool thought, though. You are. It'd be kind of neat. Like He tries to pop and lock and does it very badly. I feel misled. I didn't know you were a robot. I'm not a robot. I got a pu- put his finger. I got a pulse. You sh- put his finger through. Yeah, I mean it's 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 about seventy six beats a minute. Here, feel. I'm not going to touch you. Oh come on! Oh here, use my wrist. You don't got to touch my neck. You can just touch my wrist. Actually, I shouldn't have to. Why? You can see it. Yeah, I, I'm aware. I can yeah. actually see There's your pulse moving through your vein. By the way, can I call you Simon? Well, you, you look. You can see the... Yeah. On the, you use penetration vision. You cannot see into the vein. Creepy. Do you know how to take a pulse? Do you, do you believe in pulses, Finners? E- yes. Huh? Yes. Okay, I just didn't know. I don't know what the Amish believe. Here, here. Come here. So I, I, re- I reach out and I, I put my big old paw around his wrist. Yeah, so he's got a pulse. Just below the surface... Simon, he's got a pulse. Can I call you Simon? Something. Cosmic? Cosmic? Like bowling? No. No? That'd be pretty cool. 
That would be. I'd love to be a bowling alley. It was my dream as a kid. Where'd you find this guy? Um, the Kalon Planet. Yeah, that is true. What were you doing there? Um, I woke up there. We're surviving. He was booted there, probably. Well, we all were. What do you mean? Oh, well, yeah. I imagine I was. He, he, really, he really wanted to get his badge back, really bad. That shiny badge he I wears. I take on about his two steps back from everybody he outside arm's reach. Why? Could be whoa, whoa! A sleeper Kylon agent. Kalon. I don't think so, because Kalons don't uh, have don't think powers so themselves. On what basis? Kalons don't have powers themselves. They have to steal their powers. And plus, their planet blew up. It self destructed. Doesn't have to be Kalon. Could be sourced for something else. Could be. Big unknown. Something we could look into. Well, I can't you're not actually giving, look into. You're, it. you're not giving me a proctol. Uh, what is it called? The thing where they put the camera in your butt. Oh, no, no, not, not at all. That. No, that's definitely not happening. Colonoscopy? Yeah, that. Yeah. He what? probably doesn't even. I do hey. not know what a Cylon is, but you know what a colonoscopy is. I watch the Discovery Channel. What the hell, man? The Amish hey. are big on prostate health. Hey, <laughs> quick he, question. You know, to be perfectly honest, he probably doesn't even know what he is. I'm a Weird. human? See? U.S. He Marshall? doesn't even know. Deputy U.S. Marshal? So your name's Simon? Can I, I, I call you? And... Can I call you Simon? No, you may not. What about Simon Says? You may call Grew me Wells or Tony? Dr. Wells. I prefer Dr. Wells. Dr. Simon Wells? No. Dad's name was George. Um, do you have any other contacts other than than uh, Luther? Mom's name was Martha? I do. Anybody that could help? <laughs> With what? Him? No. No. The surviving supernatural cold. And used to get made fun of in Yotenheim. elementary school because of my lack of an accent. Yeah. I could try to contact Beast. He's smart. He's probably smart as you. I would like to you. call Grant Newman. He is the head of medical research at Indiana University Health. Ooh. Ring. Dr. Newman, how may I help you? Grant, it's Simon. How you doing there, Simon? Doing good. Hey, quick shot in the dark question for you. Sure. If somebody had to survive... Uh, Supernatural cold. So think of cold below absolute zero. Like space? Sure. How would they do it without losing the mobility implied by a space suit? Um, Reed Richards has been working on a thermogel suit along those same... uh, To figure it out. Oh, okay. Along those same lines... um, Something like that could be used. Uh, it's imagine uh, two parachute suits, one slightly bigger than another. There's a thermomimetic gel that's between the two, or at least that's the theory. He hasn't mass produced them yet, um, and you wear it, and the the gel absorbs the. It's an insulative lining that maintains your body temperature interior. Um, it has to have a valve release in case you overexert yourself and you need to get rid of heat at some point. We won't let that happen. That's the problem he's running into at the moment. Does he have a functioning prototype? He might. I don't know. Don't know. Uh, where's he? Uh, where's he working out of now? The uh, Reed Richards Institute of Science and Techno- Technology, I think. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> the guy's like, yeah, I don't know who that guy is, but yeah, that's the place. <laughs> Just falls out of his face. Cosmic awareness. It happened. Okay. I know everything. Jesus. All right. Thanks. Hey, I appreciate it. My pleasure. Anytime. So I'm relaying that about the suit. Well, then, let's go to... Where is the Reed Richards Institute of Science and Technology? Look that up on Google. <laughs> New York City. Yeah. I, was, yeah. I started spitting out the address. And it's in the Fantastic Four building. And I'm Ooh. calling... Because uh, they, they also the have their own building. We are like the only group of superheroes that don't have our own building. The, the she- You're stuck on this headquarters thing. I've, he, and, he's and got a good you idea. You figure out that that kind of suit they're talking about would be great, but there's no way to get rid of excess heat in case you like work out too hard and need to sweat. Oh, it, So that suit, it, you're going to get too hot in it. There's no way. You're, you're going to build up heat inside of it and cook yourself. Yes, but I also have suspend animation. You do. <laughs> Touche. The robot makes a good point. Well, the robot. Damn it. 
Who's uh, Dan? Please give me a psyche roll. <gasps> oh no, is this a trigger? <laughs> oh, twenty-two. That that's probably not good. Hold on, I gotta look up my character sheet. Uh, my psyche is forty. So twenty-two on a forty is what? not looking good, bro. Uh, they're obviously discriminating against you, and it's an, and it's a malicious lie. <gasps> So, are we going to have to go over this again, how I don't like you all lying about me? Because, I mean, we went over it once about how you thought I blew up the planet when I didn't, in fact. And this whole thing about me being a robot, it's not going to fly. It's just a... It's not a thing. It's just a term we're throwing around until we figure out what it's you really not, are. It's not... Okay, I'm not a robot. Okay. I'm, I'm a human boy. I'm a real boy. Okay, well, it's just a placeholder. Well, uh, you can stop using it. Well, like you, you can calm issues. down. No. Not while you're being rude. <laughs> I'm trying to politely address the situation. I have all of the knowledge in the entire universe, and you're going to call and you're me a liar. Still a racist. <gasps> racist. It's our. It's uh, been guardian th- angel. I'm going to need I'm, a psyche I'm, roll. I'm the, pretty sure I'm a. I'm black, right? The gauntlet's been thrown. <laughs> it is. It is impossible for me to be racist. Is it? And uh, technically, it isn't even racist. Okay, I'm it's sorry. Speciesist. Species. There you yeah. go. Apologies for not using the proper word. Hey, you're, you're forgiven. Now that we, now See? that you apologize, we can move past this. Forgiveness. Yeah. Now your no, turn. Listen, well, hey, he just hey. forgave you. You got to forgive him. Is there an X-ray machine anywhere in this facility? Yes, there is. Look, Jim, Jimmy. I will take coffee. Are you shut the front door? <laughs> I, I just want to you to take know. A Starbucks break. What's your name? I'm sorry. Oh no, it's it's eleven o'clock already. Ingrid at Starbucks down here is amazing. Uh, thank you. Amazing. Like <laughs> <laughs> Not no. everyone wants to talk into the mic, Dan. Dan just scared her. <laughs> Dan just. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it ca- okay. but but we've got high end oh. gear. We'll make you sound good. Yeah, it doesn't cause like cancer. We're, We're good. Expressive. We're good. We're out of pumpkin spice season, aren't we? The yeah. Tempo. So light. Yeah, you are. You uh, are. You're in your Aeropostale sweater. I, 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 like, so. I just realized you're wearing name brand. Dems. First time I've ever seen you wear name brand. Dems Aero. fighting words. Um, can you please order on mic? Jeez. Um, I would like. Uh, did you have vanilla latte? Can I get a really, really strong vanilla latte? A strong vanilla latte. Isn't that an oxymoron? Strong. 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 Do you want shot. small or large? Um, I am good actually. I have, I have my Coke. I, I thank you though. Not at the moment. Good. No, if I have coffee, I'll go crazy. Yeah, you order like okay, a white. Or, or. Oh yeah, you're a racist. Uh, er. Species is no, yeah, Jimmy. Right. Jimmy, listen, Jimmy. What? I can, I can show you something Ooh. that will show you why I have curiosity. Okay. If you'll just if you'll just come with me. Where? Two two doors down. Oh hey, hey. While All we're right. doing that, can we call the Margolis company to get the choppers for you guys that can't fly? They're they're on route now. Oh, okay. You receive a text. It comes across. Choppers are on the front lawn. Choppers are what? The, the chopper is on the front lawn. All right. Uh, wait one. ETA five minutes. Come on. All right. So I'm gonna go down there with her. Oh, okay. hey. When we exit this room, do your magnetic um, holding thing so this door can't be opened. So we can secure his wife and his daughter. Because we worked really hard to save them. Magnetic m- manipulation. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Give, throwing give me a roll. Hey, Mallrat. Yes? Do you want to earn my trust? Let's go with yes. <laughs> Fine. Guard- did, I just, did I just destroy your trust with that? No, it's the fact that I can't tell if you actually want my trust or you just want me to think that you have my trust so that you can then stab me in the back later. Oh, and I will not stab you on the back. What would be the benefit of that? Ankle, heel, foot, whatever. Ah. Look, guard my family. And in return? <gasps> if I come back and there is absolutely no harm done to them. You might want to define what harm constitutes. He knows what I mean. Does he? <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Yes, he does. He's a genocidal genius. He knows what he means. Predict them undisturbed from as they are now. There you go. I say because he might improve them. 
Well, of course I was going to improve them. And if you're successful, we'll be on the right road. And if I am successful in protecting them while you were away, I will receive a nanobot? I mean, this is your family. No, but I will allow you to assist me with research. Of what variety? Nanotechnology. Fair. Done. Good. That's how you do it. Okay, so what are we? Are we going to put me in a, in a, in a MIR machine or a yes. MRI machine or a t- uh, yeah that or a, uh, you're going to put him in a magnet or a dog scan? What well, are we doing? First, I'm going to try a simple X-ray because I can't get beneath the surface levels of his epidermis. Well, if you can't, an X-ray machine is not going to be able to. But he needs to see that. Oh, good point. Hey. Dan had it right. Okay, there we See, go. See, here's the problem. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Jimmy Joshua. Jimmy believes had it right. that he is yeah. fundamentally human because that how I'll tell how you my role been, in a minute. Uh, Born? Sure, um, but he needs to see this because this isn't how this works. So we put him in the X-ray machine and fired up. Is this like one of those ones where you just put your arm down and it scans you? Yeah, or? and it's got the plus okay. on yeah, your on right. your wrist. Okay, you fire an off an, ac- an X-ray. <laughs> okay, you go over to the computer screen. And it shows your hand as a black outline. Is that in, what I see? Um, will you look at yourself and... Mm, no, no, no. That's what I'm asking. Is that what I see on the screen? Yes. As the blackout? Yeah. So it's like you're wearing a lead glove. Cool. And, and you've been through enough... I mean, you've been through enough physicals just for the Marshal Service right. where you're like... I know. You know I what your you. own... Okay. I got you. So what'd you do to it? What? Uh, what? You're the computer genius. What'd you do to it? I didn't do it... I haven't touched this machine until right now. And you, you have little that. robots that can go and do things for you. What did you do to it to make it display this? That's some severe programming. Yeah. I don't even think I could help him. Like I, when, I, when I shared my cosmic awareness with him, he completely lost it. I'd have to access his core, but I don't know how. Yeah. You're not going to put anything near my core. <laughs> Uh, well, at least he admits he has a core. Yeah, we all have one. It's called a heart. Yeah. <laughs> fly, Maria, fly! Oh, my <laughs> I have to use the restroom, yeah. but assume that I am shaking my head at Jimmy and moving towards the helicopters. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Scott, I rolled a 74 and a 50 for the magnetic manipulation. I believe that's a yellow? It it's is. Naruto running. Yes, it is. Excellent. All right. Um, he seals the door, and you guys head up for the helicopters? Affirmative. Excellente. You right there? Well, I didn't want it to get oh, okay. I'm bumped over. Um, all right, you guys are headed up. Um, Morat, as you walk down, he's playing with the vial. Um, the vacuum tube of The Dark vacuum Force. tube of Dark Force. Um, and he's attempting to touch. He's touching the vacuum, cu- uh, the vacuum tube uh, posts. At various positions to the door that was just magnetically sealed. You guys round the corner to head up, and you head up to the helicopters, and that will, or to the helicopter, and that will do us tonight for Gaming with Scott. We thank you for listening, and we'll talk to you real soon. And that's it tonight for us on the Gaming with Scott podcast. You can always send us an email at gamingwscott at gmail.com or catch us on Twitter. Josh Elliott is at Asmoday369. Dan is at Malkware. Josh Jackson is at ActionJack853. And Rico is R1CO. Me, Scott T, at GamingWScott. This is a Southgate Media production. Remember, be the superhero you always wanted to see in the world. And as always, you will be hearing from us real soon.